Hello guys! Welcome back to our video series celebrating Black History Month. In this video, we are going to talk about an amazing man named Frederick Douglass. Yay! Okay, Frederick Douglass was this awesome guy who's known as an abolitionist. An abolitionist is someone who speaks against and fights against slavery. Slavery being the practice of treating humans like property. Slavery used to be legal in the United States for a very long time. Frederick Douglass was an amazing man who was born into slavery in a state called Maryland in the year 1818. We don't know exactly when Frederick's birthday was, and in fact, he didn't even know when his birthday was. But Frederick later chose the day, February 14th, as his birthday and would celebrate it on that day. Now, Frederick never met his father, and he barely saw his mother. And he was raised mostly by his grandmother until he was six years old. And when he was six, he was sent away to the city of Baltimore. While he was there in Baltimore, the wife of the house taught Frederick the alphabet. And from there, he taught himself how to read. He taught himself how to read completely on his own because he knew that having an education was his ticket to freedom. He later said in his life that some know the value of an education by having it, and he knew it by not having it. Next, Frederick was sent back to a plantation and forced to work very hard. And the owner of the plantation would hurt and beat Frederick until one day when he was 16, he stood up to the owner of the plantation and he never touched him again. But then he was moved to another plantation where he tried to escape but wasn't successful. Then he was sent back to Baltimore to work in a shipyard. There he met a woman named Anna Murray and Anna encouraged Frederick to try and escape again. So Frederick courageously disguised himself as a free black sailor and got papers from a friend and snuck his way onto a train and went all the way to New York where he was a free man. Then Anna Murray came to him and they were married. Shortly after this, Frederick started attending abolitionist meetings, other people who were against slavery and speaking out against it. And he started to speak at these meetings and got a lot of attention for how articulate and well-spoken he was for his thoughts and his ideas. Frederick also became a preacher. In 1845, the man who had taught himself to read published his book and it became a huge success selling thousands of copies in the United States and overseas in Europe. It got so successful that Frederick and his wife were scared they might be caught by the plantation owner who owned them before. So they actually escaped to Britain for a while until supporters were able to raise enough money for Frederick to buy his legal freedom. Then Frederick was able to move back to the States and he wrote a couple other books and also started an abolitionist newspaper he was vocal and active in supporting equal rights for everyone. He often spoke at women's rights conventions because at this time, women were not allowed to legally vote in the United States. And Frederick also helped other people escape slavery through the Underground Railroad. He became so well known, he was even an advisor to President Lincoln. And before Frederick died, he was able to see the 14th Amendment passed, which made slavery illegal in the United States. Frederick Douglass fought for equal rights his entire life. He once said that God is the father of us all and we are all brethren. See, Frederick knew something of the truth of God, that all humans are created in God's image and all humans are worthy of honor, love, and kindness. Frederick Douglass was also very vocal about hypocrisy in the United States, where people said that they were Christians, that they loved God, but then they would own slaves and abuse other human beings. He called out this lie again and again and said that this kind of Christianity has nothing to do with God. We're gonna close with a verse from Ephesians that I love. Ephesians 2.10, for we are all God's handiwork, created in Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. 
God made you and God made me and God made Frederick Douglass to bring justice to earth. I'm so inspired by his life. He lived a hard life and did brave things. And he changed the course of our nation because he pursued truth and justice. I hope you're inspired by Frederick Douglass today. To close out, I'm just gonna give you two questions that you can ask God. One, God, what does equality mean to you? And two, God, where's the place where you want me to bring justice in my world? Okay, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.